and welcome to your favourite teacher. Today we're going to be looking at electronic configuration. In previous units, we've looked at how the atomic model was developed over time and in detail at the current model. You'll need to know about the current atomic model before you carry on with this topic. So if you're not sure, please check out our previous lessons. As you know, an atom is made up of protons, neutrons and electrons. Protons and neutrons are found in the nucleus and electrons orbit the nucleus in shells. The electrons are arranged in predictable ways around the nucleus and you're expected to know the first 20 atoms. Don't worry, you don't have to remember them, you just need to be able to use the periodic table and remember a couple of rules. So, the rules you need to remember are Electrons always fill the shells closest to the nucleus first. The first shell can hold up to two electrons. The second and third shell can hold up to eight electrons. Electrons in atoms are kind of like cars in a car park at a shopping centre. The nucleus of the atom is the shopping centre and the shells or energy levels are the levels of the multi-storey car park. You always want to get your car closest to the shops and electrons always want to be closest to the nucleus because their negative charge is attracted to the positive charge of the protons in the nucleus. However, there are only two spaces on the first level. So as soon as they are full, cars will have to park on the second level. This is true for electrons as well. As soon as there are two electrons in the first shell, any further electrons will have to go into the second shell. There are a maximum of eight spaces on the second and third shell, and as soon as these are full, electrons will have to start filling up the next shell. Let's apply this to some atoms. We'll have a look at helium first. If we look at the periodic table, we can see helium has an atomic number of two. This tells us that helium has two protons in its nucleus, and we know that a neutral atom will have the same number of electrons. When drawing electronic configuration, you draw the nucleus as a dot in the middle and the first shell as a ring around the outside. You can add electrons to the shells as either crosses or dots. Helium has two electrons, so both of these will fit on the first shell looking like this. We can now look at carbon, which has an atomic number of six, so we know that there's going to be six electrons. Again, we can start off with the same basic atom, a dot in the nucleus and a ring for the first shell. The first two electrons will fill the first shell, so now we need to add a second ring. We've got four electrons left to arrange for carbon and these will all fit in the second shell. So the electronic configuration for carbon is going to look like this. Chlorine has an atomic number of 17. So we know that it's going to have 17 electrons because it's neutral. We can arrange two electrons in the first shell, and we've still got 15 left, so eight are going to go in the second shell. You'll notice that we arrange the electrons on the shells in four pairs. The second shell is now full, and we still have seven electrons left, so we're going to need to draw a third shell. The third shell can hold up to eight electrons, so all of the remaining seven are going to fit. So the electronic configuration of chlorine looks like this. Calcium is the biggest atom you need to know, and it's got an atomic number of 20, meaning there's 20 protons and therefore 20 electrons. The first two electrons will fill on the first shell, the next eight will go onto the second shell, and this leaves us with 10. So eight of these are going to go into our third shell, and as the third shell can only hold eight, we've got two more left. We're going to have to draw a fourth shell and put these electrons on there. So this is the electronic configuration of calcium. Let's summarise. You're going to need to be able to draw electronic configurations of the first 20 elements on the periodic table. The atomic number is going to tell you the number of protons in each atom, and if it's neutral, the same number is going to be for the electrons. Electrons always fill shells closest to the nucleus first. The first shell holds two. The second and third shell can hold up to eight. I'm Miss Meeks and we've been looking at electronic configuration with your favourite teacher.